Today, we're gonna to learn 10 dope transitions to level up your music video. How is it going, guys? And welcome to the Olufemi channel. We're a group of teachers that wanna shore up your video production skills in as little time as possible. Yo, it's Herman here on the Olufemi channel, bringing you some more ingredients to spice up your music video. Now, you guys were pretty crazy about the 10 easy music video effects last time, so we're talking transitions today. I don't know about you, but ever since I started directing and video editing, I've always been hunting for these eye-catching transitions that would just send chills down my spine. So I wanna share some popular transitions you may have seen in music videos that are easy to do but instantly make your music videos look quality. With that said, let's get started with transition number one. The whip pan transition is probably the most popular transition used and for a good reason. When done well, it looks like the camera whips from one scene to another like this. All it takes is whipping your camera to one direction at the end of your shot and then whipping the camera in the same direction for your second shot to frame up your subject. In your favorite editing program, you just have to line up the shots so that the motion blur glues them together into a seamless whip pen. This is a very easy technique, but don't underestimate its effectiveness. Now, before you go out and accidentally knock someone out with your camera, uh, there's a very big tip I wanna give you so that your whip pans don't look amateur. And this is a tip that you should apply to all the transitions here, which is to motivate your transitions. I know how fun it could be to try out new ideas and then see how cool they look, but if they are not motivated in any way, your transitions are gonna look like everyone else's. For example, even if you have your subject look at the direction that you're whip panning, it makes it feel like they're in control of that world. Transition number two is to use a graphic match cut. What that means is to have the subject match the same shape or position in both your shots. So if your previous shot had something circular in the middle of the frame, then your next shot could be a different object, but also the same shape. Even matching the position of the artist would work, especially in a dance sequence. Now, if you combine this with the action match cut, which is matching the same movement, then you've got something that looks absolutely epic. Cut the two shots together and boom, you're winning music video editor of the year. Don't quote me on that. I'm not responsible if you don't, but I hope that you do. Using slow shutter footage is a great way to glue your shots together and it's an effect that's been used a lot recently. All you have to do is turn your shutter down on your camera, point it at something like neon lights or LED lights, hit the record button, and then slap that clip between but on top of your two shots that you want the transition to happen. Change the blending mode to whatever you think looks cool and you've got a cool gritty transition. The best part about this along with the previous two transitions is that it doesn't matter what kind of camera that you shoot this on. You could shoot this on a potato as long as you can change the shutter speed. I wonder how that would look like. Overlays are a great way to add some grittiness to your video, especially marker overlays. In this case, I'm grabbing some from Envato Elements because they have a wide variety of film marker overlays that I can easily download, slap into my timeline in less time than it takes to finish the sentence. All I'm doing is lining up the overlay between my two shots and changing the blending mode to something that looks good. And if you want to get sick asses like this, you can get your first month of Envato Elements for only $9, which is 70% off. And it's as easy as looking up what you want, going to the clip that you want to download, and just hitting the big shiny download button. And there's always so many options on Envato Elements. Speaking of overlays, you can use other types for different themed music videos. For example, glitch overlays. Again, I'm grabbing mine from Envato Elements and slapping it right on top of my two clips. To add some variance, you can also use the glitch overlay footage as a mat so that your footage will also flicker. In this case, I used another glitch clip that I got from this pack and then I chopped near the end of my first clip that I want to transition from and I added a track mat key effect on that. Change the mat to the glitch clip and the composite using to mat Luma. Now you've got a more intense CRT glitch transition. Having an object wipe through frame in the foreground makes a great way to transition into another scene. All you have to do is mask the object that covers the frame and you can do this in your favorite video editor as long as it allows masking. In this case, I'm using Premiere Pro. Go frame by frame and erase the areas that your object doesn't cover. Now slap your second clip underneath that and you've got a seamless transition that happens before you know it, like a ninja attack. We should call this the ninja transition. You're right, let's not call it that. The strobe transition can either be done in camera by having the light strobe, or it can be done in the edit by playing with the brightness. All you have to do is apply your favorite effect that can adjust the brightness of a shot. And in this case, I'm using Lumetri Color in Premiere Pro. I like to apply this to an adjustment layer so that I can chop it up and sprinkle it on top of your two transitioning shots. You could also do just a single white flash by keyframing the brightness so that it feels kind of like a flashbang. A great way to motivate this is if someone is taking a picture in the shot, I don't know, maybe like paparazzi, 
and then the flash is going off and the flash transitions into the next shot. Let's act it out. No, please. I'm in the middle of my morning coffee. What kind of acting is that? Next up is the opposite of the white flashing strobe effect, which is the black flashing effect. A super easy way to do this in your favorite editor is to simply cut away some frames between your two shots. It's a variation of the previous transition, but adds a level of intensity, usually in darker themed music videos. The inverted color flash is another variation to the previous transition in which you simply invert the colors or change the hue of it. You can mix and match them for something truly unique, but I like to have something like the color balance HSL effect applied to an adjustment layer, keyframing it so that it keeps changing color and then chopping it up. Then apply an invert effect to another adjustment layer and have that happen in the moment that it transitions. Anyone who watches your music video who might be feeling a little drowsy will instantly wake up when they see this, like an espresso shot. Maybe we can call this the espresso shot transition. I gotta stop. Finally, we have a transition that combines two effects that I use a lot in After Effects, the wiggle effect and the echo effect. This transition I haven't personally seen used before, but I thought it would look pretty sick and it's really easy to do. Now you will need After Effects, so if you have that, open it up and drop your two clips into a new composition. Once you figure out where you want the transition to happen, pre-compose the two layers by hitting Control Shift C. Add a motion tile effect and bump the number up in the output width and output height. Be sure to also check off the mirror edges box. Once that's done, add a wiggle position effect and keyframe the wiggle speed and wiggle amount so that it becomes more intense as it reaches the transition point, and then bring it back down to normal once it reaches your second shot. The motion tile effect we added prevents seeing the edge of the shot when the wiggle happens. It's a handy little trick if you ever use the wiggle effect for other things. Lastly, we add the echo effect and make sure it's at the very bottom in your effects control panel because all the effects are applied from top to bottom. Keyframe the number of echoes so that it starts at zero when the wiggle hasn't started yet, go to the transition point and then bump that number up to something like five. Then drop it back down to zero when the wiggle ends. The echo operator can be changed to whatever that you think looks good, but usually minimum or maximum will give you a trippy effect. When all that's done, hit the space bar to play it back and admire the insane transition you just made. There you guys have it, 10 music video transitions that are super easy to do. Let me know in the comments what your favorite transition was. Make sure you subscribe to the Olufemi channel so that you don't miss the next video from the other talented creators here and hitting that bell notification will help as well. If you wanna check out what I'm personally up to my YouTube and my Instagram handles are right there and also in the description below. Otherwise, again, my name is Herman and I'll see you guys in the next one.